January transfer window is upon us. We are sitting pretty high in the table with Nottingham Forest. The form hasn't been too bad. There is a couple of problems, particularly with uh, suspensions and red cards. Let's quickly check the fixtures since the last time we met. So following on from the Millwall game, we ended up beating QPR 1-0 at home despite being down to 10 men for the final 15. Lucas Pinter got the only goal of the game in the third minute. We then had a massive result away from home against Everton where we won 2-1. Max Rodriguez and Florian with the goals. 4-1 away from home against Ipswich was a fantastic result. Pierce, Florian, own goal and Guerrero. And then a hugely disappointing 1-0 home defeat against Blackburn Rovers where we were got, <laughs> went down to nine men. Two red cards in this match. Ian Delby and Shuto Shoji with the uh, red cards in the 70th and 83rd minute. We were already 1-0 down before the first red card so we can't entirely blame it on that. But um, it obviously didn't help. We did bounce back though with a 3-0 home win against Preston North End. Pierce, Florian and Hard with the goals. Massive 4-1 away win against Bournemouth. Rodriguez, Florian, David Ballas and Michael Olossi with the goals in this one. Again, another 1-0 away defeat this time against Middlesbrough. A 95th minute winner for them after we went down to 9 men again after 2 red cards. Cabrini got sent off 47 minutes in. Herrero 76 minutes in and then of course the 95th minute uh, winner for Middlesbrough was just absolutely heartbreaking. We did bounce straight back though with a 5-1 away win against Rotherham and if you look at the match stats this was a pretty even game so we were very fortunate to get away with the sort of result we have. Rodriguez with a brace, Florian with a hat-trick and that's how things finished. And finally it was a disappointing home draw against Sheffield United 0-0. Nil, nil. Neither side really took control in this game and a point was probably a fair result. And that says the championship table looking like this. We currently sit in second, level on points with Stoke City in third, a point behind Watford in first. And we've got some work to do in January, but I'm relatively pleased with how the first 30 games of the season has went. 16 games to go, and I think automatic promotion is well on track. So January transfer windows are all about the transfers, and we have 15.5 million quid to spend, £118,000 available in the wage budget, so we could definitely do some damage in terms of bringing people in. We do already have one uh, deal agreed. Alas Dabanovic from Maribor for 1.1 million. The striker will be joining and probably becoming a first choice striker in our squad. Florian has started to hit a bit of form in the past five or ten games or so, but um, his overall form over the course of the season hasn't filled me with all that confidence. So we're bringing in somebody new. We we'll also have offered contracts for two players, Abdoulaye Garba from Marseille. An attacker midfielder, I will, will be looking to bring him in on a permanent basis in this January window. He's only valued at £375,000, so if he does accept our contract offer, I'm hoping Marcia do not want too much money for him. Anything below 500 k and I will probably make that deal happen. Lazar from Ajax, uh, we're not even going to attempt to pronounce his second name because it is a little bit ridiculous for my uh, purposes. He looks like a fantastic central midfielder and I think if he was to come into the first team squad in this January transfer period, he would become a starter pretty quickly. Um, but valued at £7.25 million currently, it's unlikely Ajax are going to want less than a million quid to be able to bring him in permanently. So this one might be somebody who is left to join us in the summer. And the eagle eye amongst you might have seen I've made a cheeky £4.1 million bid for Adamir from Huddersfield. It's probably not going to happen. I am getting him scouted. Apparently he's interested in a transfer. Huddersfield uh, very likely going to reject the £4.1 million I've offered him. Uh, he did sign for £10 million. He is still number one as well, I think. Yeah, he is still number one at Huddersfield. So it's highly unlikely he's going to join us. So that one is a bit of a pipe dream. In terms of our former clubs and how the Premier League is going, Huddersfield are flying high in third position, so they are fighting for Champions League qualification. Barnsley currently sit in ninth, Birmingham sit in twelfth, and it's Leeds United sit bottom of the league. Leeds United, who we've just left, haven't got the most points we've ever got with the newly promoted side, having a fantastic first eleven with new players coming in as well. The likes of Javier Paz, who we agreed to deal with and is now considered a key player, um, and they're sitting in 20th. I can't believe it. If they are the first team who gets relegated, I will be highly, highly surprised. So we do only have four games in the January period. That could increase if we manage to get past Chelsea in the FA Cup third round, which is highly unlikely, I will agree. Burnley away from home, Cardiff at home, and Millwall away from home other than that. So let's continue on. We are looking for some players, um, ideally players who are good enough for the Premier League. In terms of where we could use improvement, left-hand side, right-hand side, 
We seem to be struggling to find wingers who are really, really top quality. Uh, maybe defensive midfield. Other than that, goalkeeper, maybe. Obviously, it all depends on how well we can recruit in terms of current ability and potential ability. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. So if there is no transfer business to talk about, I will see you at the first game against Chelsea. So Garba has accepted our contract offer, the attacking midfielder from Marseille. And now if we can bring him in for under 500k to bring him in now, I certainly will do so. So it's only going to cost us 250k to get Garba in January. So we will be doing that. Absolutely no bother. And there is Alas Dabanovic joining the club officially. Now the January transfer window has opened. A three and a half star, five star player is absolutely fine by me. We'll have to wait and see how he progresses and how he performs uh, for the rest of this season as to whether he will end up being a starter for us in the Premier League if we are to get promoted. We'll have to wait and see how well that goes. But uh, we've got a lot of stuff to deal with here. Brendan Walker, one of our potentially wonder kids centre-backs, uh, Irish 18 years old, sitting in our under-23s, is attracting bids from Premier League clubs. I'm not interested in selling them right now. Maybe if I get a ridiculous offer, I might entertain it. So there wasn't to be any upset. We faced Chelsea away from home in the FA Cup third round and got beat 2 0. Jovancic with two goals for them, who was an absolutely fabulous player. Serbian, 26 years old, the complete package. So nothing to complain about there. We performed decently enough, um, just a little bit of a step too far in terms of quality. So the offers for Brendan Walker have steadily increased to the point where we're getting offered 10.75 million and I'm still going to reject. If it was all up front, maybe that would have been a different story, but not in them sort of installments. I need the money now. If I'm not going to be at Nottingham Forest forever. I can't afford to wait for that. Lazar, the central midfielder from Ajax, has decided to join Lille instead of joining us. Silly decision, in my opinion, but you know, you can't help but... Uh, Feel a little bit aggrieved. Newcastle making an £11.25 million pounds off for Brendan Walker. Again, too many instalments. So back in league action, we've just beat Burnley away from home 1-0. Lee Pace with the only goal of the game coming 11 minutes in. We've been looking for some players and we're not really finding very much available to us right now in terms of actual improvements to the squad and someone who I'm willing to part with some of our well-earned money um, to be able to bring in. So it might be a bit of a quiet January transfer window of this. We've still got a couple of games to go and there's always options of me scouts maybe popping up with their absolutely fantastic player but likelihood is I'm not really going to be doing too much. Disappointing result for us. Nottingham Forest won, Cardiff City won. They went one and up just before half time. We equalised uh, 15 minutes after but really, really bad game that. Uh, we didn't deserve the win and Cardiff definitely deserved the point. Uh, disappointing. So in the final game of this January transfer period, we've just been beat off Millwall 3-1 away from home. Not a good January transfer period for us in terms of results. That sees us drop to third. Three points behind Watford in second. Five points behind Stoke City in first. And uh, we've got a lot of work to do. For the remainder of this season. The January transfer window is approaching a close. And I'm not planning on making any further signings as of now. Despite the past couple of results. Uh, we are going to get playoffs. Whether we get automatic promotion all depends on how long this sort of jaggedy run of forms. It's been lasting for quite a while now. We did hit. We didn't get beat for quite a while there for about 10 or 15 games. Uh, but now we are... On the rocks a little bit. We've got some big games coming up. We've obviously got Watford next at home. Uh, just after the January transfer window. Uh, in terms of when we're coming back. We're probably going to have to come back for this Derby Stoke game. That could end up being huge. For the running of our final uh, few games. We'll have to wait and see how we fall. Um, I don't want playoffs. <laughs> We've seen what happens when you get in the playoffs. It is a little bit of a lottery. And I do think our squad is good enough to get automatic promotion. And even win this league. Um, it's all just trying to find the right run of form, the right amount of morale, the right squad dynamics and just trying to nurture this squad over the line. But anyway lads, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like and if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.